hello and welcome to another flip through video so we're still on the first iteration of plane chase the 2009 although we're now on the last deck this is the zombie empire deck and uh, bizarrely we well, might seem bizarre uh, i decided to leave them in the, these i've got these in penny sleeves uh, very quickly, the background to this deck, so sometime in 2010 I saw the deck languishing in a comic store. It was $10. I had no idea at that point, even though I was getting back into collecting magic cards, I had no idea the price of anything. Um, and I think what happened was subsequently I looked up one of the cards, which is Kabul Coffers, and noticed it was more expensive than, I think, the price of the deck or whatever I paid for it. So I thought, oh, OK, I better put the deck in some, just put them in something. And I had some penny sleeves kicking around. I've, I've never played this deck. Uh, it would just form part of the collection and it's remained in these penny sleeves carefully locked away in its plastic packaging. So we'll look through the deck as usual. It's in rarity order and we'll also look through the, the plain, planer or plain cards, whatever you want to call them. I think I've shown you the, the dice before for this. It's very simple. You can see it's six sided and the appropriate um, planar chaos in symbol is on one of the sides. Again, I'll link to the the original unboxing. Uh, I do apologise. I think that probably the the quality for that unboxing, because of the video camera I had at the time, isn't great. This is one of the reasons I'm doing these. But again, we're just going to focus in on the artwork for this and I think in the other deck I explain a little bit about the plane chase product although it might be some naivety in that based on my knowledge at the time so we'll see how we get on with this it looks really nice actually even with the, the sleeves on it's not too shiny it's more if they're going to slip around I, I deliberately try not to to look up the prices of these decks now but I, I couldn't help because I was looking up the name I think to buy now the, this deck's about 300 bucks so yeah So mono black deck. I think I've mentioned before I'm definitely with this in terms of you know future episodes for Magic the Gathering videos thinking seriously about doing something specifically about the artwork that's used on cycles but I'm not quite sure the form that's going to take bearing in mind that some of the more interesting cycles can be rather expensive so that does tend to lend itself to doing it on Scryfall but we'll see despite my messed effort my messed efforts my best efforts these are a bit slippery The 
course there's a number of cards in here that I've not looked at in a long while. So 2009, of course, to remind you, you're talking about pre-Zendikar. Zendikar was just about to come out. I mean, personally, I do find that the Plane Chase product, because of its multiplayer nature, did, to some degree, really help in that lead into, you know, from EDH to what became known as Commander. Although, you know, essentially the format's the same. I'm assuming it was just due to an inability to be able to use the term Highlander to describe their product. Oh, I didn't keep the two undead war chiefs there together, never mind. There's another interesting series could just be the artwork of Dark Ritual. There's a couple of those in here. There's a consumed spirit. Very nightmarish incremental blight. Oh, you yeah, see, this is why I love doing this now. You know, originally, <laughs> there was me just thinking it's clouds <laughs> and. Uh, so they're up here, yeah? Funny. Uh, the Festering Goblin. There were two of those in the deck. The Dregscape Zombie. Rotting rats. And a shepherd of the rot, so lots of rot in the deck. A couple of cadaverous knights. of Frexian Ghouls. It almost feels like this is uh, the deck with the most amount of two ofs in it. At least that's the way it feels.
Notice we have the, the character Phage in the artwork. So now moving on to the non-basics, we've got a, a leech ridden swamp and uh, there's a couple of those in the net. And then of course this, Kabul coffers. single copy of that. Now I've left the the mana base pretty random artwork wise. I know on some videos I I stack these so the artworks together. I can't really decide a lot of the time how to do it so I thought I'd do, leave it a bit more random this time. Because obviously there's duplications of artwork in here. That was the four variants, but we'll just go through the rest as they repeat themselves. Again, a nice combination with these with uh, you know, slightly gnarlier artwork. Although it probably all looks pretty gnarly up close. Yeah, as I said, just four variants there. Now, let's have a look at the actual big R on the plain, plainer cards. If you want to think of them. And I'm just going to try and get into mainly the artwork here too worried about the, the actual rules on them.
Oh, this is rather topical, considering what's just been released. everywhere. And now we have the last one. So thanks once again for watching. Bye for now and I will catch you in the next video.